Good morning YouTube, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking all about my breast lift. Yes, I got a breast lift two months ago and I got not only a breast lift, I got fat transferred into my breasts from my love handle. So yes, I got liposuction, uh, to, you know, the fat taken from here and put into my breasts because, and I will show you pictures, of course, throughout this video. I just made some pictures today and, of course, and obviously I have been making pictures and videos and all of that goodness throughout the two months. So I have some notes over here that I will be looking at. So that I would not forget anything. This is going to be a quick video. Anyone who is interested in getting a breast lift, anyone who has gotten a breast lift and want to make sure that all of their symptoms and whatever is going on is normal or maybe it's not. And of course, I am not a professional, so please always contact your surgeon. The main reason why I have gotten plastic surgery where I live, and that is in Chicago, is because I can go to see my surgeon at any time. I also have his phone number, so I can always send him pictures and message him if something is not looking or feeling okay, which I've done, I have done a lot of times actually because i wanted to make sure that everything is uh you know healing correctly and looking good and i remember at one point i was swollen um and so i got scared for a second i'm like what is normal because it's normal to be swollen but up to what point and so anyway let's start this video from the beginning the reason why I got a breast lift was because I lost about 20 to 30 pounds before um, getting plastic surgery. Then, obviously, I have three children that all of them I have breastfed. It's my son, you know, for two and a half years, my daughter for one and a half years. Um, and that's a long time to breastfeed. And my breasts were naturally, you know, very large, double Ds. And so there was only skin left there. And I will show you right here what the scar looks like. So this was at the beginning, right after my surgery. Um, you know, I still had the drainage, right? So it's about, it's the first or second week after surgery. And the, the scars are intense. The scars are there, of course, over the years. They will begin to blend in with my skin. So the couple things that I wanted to mention, the scars are there, yes, you can see that they are there. This is the beginning, the start, the fresh scars that I had the first week after, you know, the plastic surgery. And I can show you then right here the, the video that I took today and that is two months after plastic surgery. Um, I know that eventually the scars will fade. So we'll see, but I, uh, I'm not really afraid of scars. Uh, I don't feel like they are ugly. I don't feel like they don't matter to me. So if you're someone who is really annoyed by scars, if you have a scar somewhere and it keeps bugging you, when you see it, then, you know, just keep that in mind that the scars are there. They will be there for a long time. Eventually they will fade. Okay, so let's start with the first thing that I wanted to mention, and that is breast lift and having children. Yes, I got in a breast lift. I have three kids. I have a baby, one-year-old baby, that yes, I was co-sleeping with, and no, I was not breastfeeding anymore. Before my plastic surgery, before my breast lift, I was told to stop breastfeeding. After four to six months, then I can get a uh, you know a breast lift, plastic surgery of you know. In this area so yes I stopped breastfeeding my daughter and four months later I got my breast lift uh, in order you know that is so the breast would kind of kind of settle down after breastfeeding for so long and they would kind of settle and then the surgeon can can do his job or her job so yes I was sleeping with my baby girl 
I just had a pillow in between us, uh, you know, and, and it just, you always need to be careful, of course. And when I was sleeping, I couldn't just lay down on my back. So I was sleeping like this and I felt a lot more safe and there was a pillow right next to me from this side and this side if any other children would come you know running by and I just felt safe it worked for our family it worked for me of course my husband was sleeping on the mattress on the ground next to me because he needed to help me a lot so I could wake him up but you know the baby had to be sleeping next to me and of course I needed to keep repeating for the kids, you know, be careful, mom, mom just had surgery, please be careful, please be careful. And that had to uh, be said at least a couple times a day. Of course, I was still hugging, I was still playing, uh, but I couldn't lift my kids at all. I couldn't raise my hands, so of course I couldn't, I couldn't extend my hands or raise my hands or do any kind of uh, movements with my hands I was told to be a t-rex right so hands like this and you can take whatever you can reach I couldn't open the fridge there had to be no pulling or you pulling or pushing of any sorts so someone that helped me and that was my husband and my older kids was great another thing itchiness right so i had a lot of itchiness and itchiness is normal up to a point right so if you are itchy there's some kind of prescription medication that your surgeon can give you i did not want any at this point you know i was off the medication uh, i think six days after my plastic surgery i was off the medication completely and totally and so I didn't want to jump into prenatal prescription medication again. So um, I just kind of suffered through it. But the one thing that scared me, and that's when I sent a message to my surgeon, was when I woke up in the morning and I had bruises from scratching at night without realizing that I was scratching so intensely that I had, you know, redness and bruising all over my breasts after i went to see him and he checked me and he said i was super itchy because the glue from the tape got old and started irritating my skin and then of course wearing the garment 24 7 didn't help you know the situation so after he took off at my two-week appointment he took off the tapes and the itchiness was like 30% gone. So of course there's still some itchiness from everything healing from everything just like settling down, but not to the point where yeah, I, I couldn't even talk. I couldn't even talk and concentrate on talking how itchy everything was. So anyway, he took off the tape. He told me that I don't have to wear the garment 24 seven. I can, you know, um, rest for a couple hours during the day and so of course the the bra that was included in my price so i didn't buy it uh that was included that was something that was given to me by uh, at the surgical center and so anyway he took off the tape and i was like myself again i was so happy because i got fat transfer into my breast they were they were you know they were different they felt amazing they were full which i haven't had since you know before kids so about seven years and okay so another thing i wanted to mention was sleep of course i cannot sleep on my side or my stomach at all there had to be no squishing of the breast at all so no sports bras no underwire bras uh, just pretty much everything very loose but still holding in place so the fat and the breast would settle down in like the normal shape or whatever and so yeah so I couldn't sleep on the side or on my stomach I had to sleep like I said 
like this so of course at the beginning it's because everything would be cleaning and draining and whatnot later on um you know i believe the second month i was able to sleep on my side but still not leaning on my breast too much and so uh at this point two months after i still cannot i don't feel comfortable laying on my breast but you know kids i have kids and they sometimes lean on my chest which doesn't hurt anymore um, so they do that and that is fine I still want to give them as much love as I can obviously and the last thing that I will mention in this amazing breast lift video is that yes and of course talk to your surgeon but fat transfer whatever Whatever fat your surgeon transfers from any area of your body will not necessarily, well, maybe if you're like super lucky, but not everything will actually stay in the place that they are transferring fat to. That was a twister right there. So I got fat transferred into my breast and yes, very obvious that not all the fat survived a lot of the fat just kind of moved away from this area and that is totally fine with me i didn't want an implants right so you could choose implants or fat transfer and i didn't want anything i didn't want anything in here so i wanted as natural as i possibly could and so if you have gotten breast implants the, you know they're not gonna go nowhere you're gonna have full on at the top here full on breasts I didn't have that my breasts were all skin so I wanted to puff them up as much as possible and at this point I'm very happy with the way that they are they're very much you know lifted and into a normal place now but they're not as full uh, they're a lot more full than they, than they were, but they're not as full anymore as they were, you know, a couple days before surgery. The fat did go away and disappear, but my surgeon is still very, very happy with how much fat I did hold onto uh, my breasts. Here you go. This is my plastic surgery, my breast lift with fat transfer story. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them, ask away. I have Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook, and I share, you know, updating pictures and videos of the scars and whatnot. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and have the best day. Bye.